Bulkan Timber Works, incorporated in 1997, is wholly owned and managed by Guyanese shareholders. We operate a timber company that is fully integrated both upstream and downstream. That is to say, we have total control from the forest floor to the finished product delivered to the docks. Contrary to contemporary conventional wisdom, which would have one believe that the use of wood conflicts with the global movement to go green, wood is the only 100% renewable, reusable, and biodegradable building product on Earth. It has always been my desire for this company to be continue to be managed by my son and my son's son and future generations thereafter. And as a result, from the inception, our mantra has been to continue to operate in a sustainable manner. And in very simple terms, this means increasing the value of the timbered source. That is to say, felling the least among the trees. But more importantly, in my opinion, is to process these trees in country, thus providing much needed employment for our fellow Guyanese. Every building product used by contractors worldwide comes from natural resources, which are quickly being depleted. Since 1955, we have all consumed two times as much cement, five times as much plastic, and seven times more aluminum than all of humanity before us combined. Did you know that it takes nine times more energy to produce a steel stud than a wooden one? Steel consumes 4,000 times more coal, gas, and oil to mine and produce than wood. Producing concrete emits up to three times more carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and hydrocarbons than manufacturing lumber. Of all those natural resources, only wood is renewable. Production of trees is powered by the sun. The use of wood as a primary building material is a much more environmentally conscious decision. In Guyana, the Guyana Forestry Commission implements strict controls to ensure that logs in the forest are sustainably harvested. Loggers are only allowed to harvest 20 cubic meters of logs per hectare of forest in 60-year cycles. What this essentially means is that only five or six trees are cut in a whole acre of forest every half a century. This leaves the crown canopy virtually unchanged and allows for natural regeneration. Historically, the company had been at the mercy of unreliable raw material suppliers, which severely hampered our ability to meet production schedules. In order to solve this problem, we undertook the task of vertically integrating our manufacturing plant with our own upstream logging concession. The control that we have over our raw material supply provides two key benefits to our operations. One, we are able to consistently source the most prime lumber for our clients. And two, we are able to procure this lumber at a far more competitive price than if purchased on the open market since we negate the markup of any middleman. These savings are passed directly to our clients. A properly constructed dry wooden house will easily last 100 years. Here at Bulkan Timber Works, the framework components, the hardwood flooring and walls and the lumber used to produce the rafters, shutters, moldings, doors, and windows in our homes are all kiln-dried. What this means for our clients is that they will have a beautiful wooden house whose components will not move, as is the natural tendency of wood to do. This allows us to guarantee that our customers will experience no cracking or splitting of the wood in their homes, a problem commonly associated with wooden structures built prior to this modern era. The kiln drying process, in conjunction with wood's natural characteristics of being an excellent insulator, leads to an extremely energy efficient home. My name is Hardy Siram. I am currently employed in the Guyana Forestry Commission as a grading inspector. Over the last four years, I have been stationed in multiple locations in Guyana, 
and Vulcan Timber Products produce one of the finest quality lumber in Guyana. From our modern factory in Yaracabra, every component of the house is produced by a highly trained and skilled Guyanese workforce. Our philosophy prioritizes adding value to Guyana's indigenous raw materials using advanced modern technology. This has always been the guiding vision of the CEO, Howard Bulkan. We manufacture every single component for this wooden home. From the roofing shingles, to the rafter and close boarding, walls and flooring, moldings and trims, doors and windows, and even the outdoor decking. He endeavored to produce all components locally, from the first floorboard to the very last shingle on the roof, a 100% Guyanese product. Hello, I'm Justin Bulkan. And I'm George Bulkan. We at Bulkan Timber Works, knowing that the housing sector in Guyana is expanding, have undertaken a construction project, employing a new and innovative concept from the ones traditionally used in our country. Typically in Guyana, when one decides that they're going to build a home, they need to get cement, stone, sand and steel, maybe a few heavy industrial machines, employ expensive contractors, carpenters, masons, etc. Accounting easily for as much as 30% of the material costs, as well as devote three to six months to this task. However, all of this changed now and we are pleased to present our prefabricated wooden model home. Our prefabricated home holds efficiency at its core. The unit's panel structure lends itself to multiple configurations and layouts as the panels are interchangeable. What this means is that after you choose your design, we will manufacture your home in our controlled factory environment using choice lumber that is sustainably harvested. From here, you are one skilled foreman, four unskilled laborers, and about 18 days away from owning your own home, depending of course on the size you choose. Please join us in a tour as we highlight green innovation as an alternative to the status quo. It is a well-known fact in Guyana that a wooden house is much cooler than a concrete one. Considering that our homes offer the additional benefit of a radiation-reducing Wallaba shingle roof, as opposed to the traditional use of furnace-like aluminum, Guyanese need not invest in expensive air conditioning systems to stay cool. Our Guyanese clients will also take comfort in the fact that our roofs are engineered to withstand 160 mile per hour Caribbean hurricane winds. Therefore, Guyana's torrential rains will not in any way affect the integrity of the roof. Original features of the house include the selective use of interchangeable panel construction technology, which allows for flexibility in the location of windows and doors. Creativity is noted in the design concept, where the use of modular construction allows for differing building sizes and opportunities for various site layouts to meet site location challenges. We have elected to use a different indigenous hardwood wall in each room of our model home to showcase the unique visual characteristics of our gorgeous timber. Wallaba is an abundant species in Guyana. However, it is a wood that is not favored for indoor use because it possesses much sticky gum and is troublesome to handle. You will notice that it is a beautiful wood possessing unique grains. We have mastered the sap problem and are proud to display our Wallaba walls and outdoor deck. Although Wallaba is abundant, our own forest concession cannot supply us with adequate volumes of this wood. To supplement our demand, we purchase from a number of suppliers, including certified Amerindian Reservation Wood. I am pleased to introduce to you myself. I am Lester Fleming, the Tushaw of Miratar Amerindian Village. Region 10, located up to the Mara River, approximately 25 miles. This village mainly depends on logging and harvesting of the forest for a livelihood and income. With years' experience doing business 
with other people. We do business with, Ms. with, with Bulkan's company, and they're the most reliable company in buying, harvesting, and requirements so they fulfill their commitments. They also benefit the village by selling valuable logs and blocks, and we receive payments from them promptly. This creates a great impact and benefit to Miritaro village. The design of the roof of the building with the generous internal height and the decided internal wall heights allow for continuous air circulation and further induces a cooling effect. Using a combination of tongue and groove technology, along with modern flooring installation equipment, we are pleased to offer to our customers flooring where the nails are completely invisible. Although this feature has been accomplished before in Guyana, the traditional process used is inefficient and ultra-time intensive when compared to our process, which compresses and secures the floorboards all in one step. End matching is the process of double end trimming each plank and through a special process, precision milling a tongue and groove on the plank ends. This results in a more consistent grain and color appearance, while very efficiently yielding extremely long, sturdy planks from relatively short lengths of wood that would ordinarily be discarded. The innovative use of end matching technology has allowed us to save approximately 20% of the lumber used in our construction process, creating greater value for our clients and further highlighting our commitment to the environment. Green buildings are designed to reduce the overall impact of the environment on human health and the natural environment by efficient use of energy and water, among other resources, in addition to reducing waste and pollution. With this understanding, Bulkan Timber Works has utilized more than 90% of the material components as wood. The natural hardwoods, which are mostly utilized in the construction, do not require any chemical treatment against insect attack which is important in protection of the environment. In keeping with the company's desire to practice corporate social responsibility and environmental consciousness, none of the biodegradable reject materials used in our construction process go to waste. Instead, materials like wood rejects, ends, offcuts, and sawdust are given away free of charge to coal producers and chicken farmers in the community. My name is Tabitha. Neblet, and um, this is my husband, Farouz Khan. We're working at Mr. Bulkan Bun to get the saddles free to make a living after we own. And it's helped me in my home with my seven children to send them to school and do a little after something after we own. The coal burners, in particular, benefit tremendously from the company's operations since the free raw material they receive support the livelihood of many families in Yarracabra. Good day. I am Ms. Kibela Pollard. I'm the president of the Yarracabra Coal Burners Association. On behalf of myself and the other ladies here, this, uh, this organization is for single parents. We salvage a waste from Mr. Bokan's conveyor. As long as he's working, we are working. We take the wood and put it into pits, and we sell at least twice a, twice a month. And that's how we make our living, to support our children, and to feed our family, and to take care of ourselves. Our kilns boilers are also supplied by the wooden rejects from our factory, which is yet another example highlighting the fact that we dump no biodegradable waste material. We hope that we have convinced you that it is okay to make the simple choice of daring to be different in that ultimate choice you make in your life, home ownership. We look forward to hearing from you. Please visit us at www.bullcantimbers.com.